Welcome back to the Tamarosa. Today we have an interesting question for you. Can a cow be allergic to its own milk? A few weeks ago we did our video on switching to once a day milking and if you recall uh, Buttercup had an allergic reaction during that time and we also showed some footage of when she had an allergic uh, reaction this previous summer. So we were wondering what, what was causing that. commenter on our YouTube channel who actually suggested that it could be some type of allergy to her own milk and I have to tell you that was quite surprising to think that a dairy cow could be allergic to her own milk and so we did some research we called a bunch of our dairy farmer mentors in fact we called all our dairy farmer mentors and asked them if they had seen or heard of this condition and actually two of them have and, and bear in mind that all of our mentors probably have a couple, three centuries of combined experience. For them to have experienced this in the same manner that we have experienced with Buttercup uh, did provide some pretty solid evidence. And part of the theory is that uh, when you reduce or change the milking of the cow, it changes the pressure in the udder. And what had happened with Buttercup is uh, in the summertime we had just gone to separating the calves overnight and so the next morning was when she had that reaction hives and swelling that we didn't know uh, I went to the vet clinic and got epinephrine just in case we needed to use it in case she started to have respiratory distress but by the time I got back Stacy had milked the cows and her symptoms were going away and we never saw it again and then as you know when she went to once a day milking which is another change in her milking routine uh, she had the instance the next morning of having the swellings, but they went away really quickly after Stacy milked the cow. Uh, and that mimics what the dairy farmer said, which is they've seen it rarely, but it wasn't like a persistent problem. Yeah, for, for our dairy farmers who had seen it, it typically would present itself at dry off, which is another condition where there would be excess pressure in the udder. And so, um, you know, the first time Buttercup had a reaction we attribute it to possibly an insect bite you know a wasp stung her or something like that um, it wasn't until this last time when we began to make a correlation between uh, these episodes and changes in her milking routine and we would not have even thought of that if it hadn't been for one of you who suggested it in our comments but like Stacy said we started doing more research we asked all of our veterinarian friends and we only had one who mentioned that, no two, who mentioned they had seen it before and that what we were experiencing with Buttercup matched that. I actually looked up in a veterinary book on large animal internal medicine and I kid you not, this condition is listed under the term milk allergy. That's it, that's it, just it's milk allergy. And so it seems to be for some reason when there's extra milk in the udder or like a dry off where they're uh, trying to absorb extra milk into the body, uh, part of a protein of the milk, casein, gets into the bloodstream and the body kind of has a hypersensitive reaction to it. And part of that hypersensitive reaction is his the release of histamine, which causes the hives and the swellings in the face and in the vulva. I was very interested in this and I looked for all the other information I could find and I actually did find a study done by Cornell University in the early 70s where they were researching this topic and they found that out of all the different types of proteins that are actually in milk, they isolated out that it was indeed the casein protein that was causing the allergic reaction. What does that mean for buttercup? The, uh, the two vets that we talked to that had both uh, experienced uh, this in their practice uh, actually both recommended a homeopathic uh, treatment of using Apis Mel. Excuse you. Which is, from what I understand, made from bee venom. And so we're going to try that at dry off because that will be the next uh, big change for Buttercup 
uh, and her milking routine. Should alleviate some of her cows. Rose, Rose. I like Rose though, because like when she goes to pee, she just commits. Like she's like, I'm going to pee. Are you going to pee now? Okay. I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, Some about histamines. The theory behind the use of the homeopathic remedies is that it will help with that release of histamine and help with some of those symptoms that she's experiencing. We've already gone to once a day milking, which uh, reduces the pressure on her udder. If we went from like twice a day milking to just stopping all at once, uh, it could cause her to have a much more extreme reaction. And we're gonna try it and, and see what happens. So far, it looks like she has a little bit of a reaction and then she's fine, even with no type of uh, alleviating treatment. And one of our uh, dairy farmer friends who has experienced this in his own herd also mentioned that he's seen it where they kind of outgrow it. Like, you know, Buttercup is a, is a first lactation heifer and, you know, next year she might not have any problems. Like, I had no idea that a dairy cow could possibly be allergic to its own milk. But that is the wonderful world of nature. It's always humbling. We'd like to definitely give thanks to all the people who have helped us understand uh, and figure out what's going on. Uh, first and foremost is to the viewer RWF, RWF, who in the comments of our once a day milking video pointed out that uh, this could be a possibility, especially with Jersey cows. So thank you. And then of course, all of our veterinary friends, the vets at the Twila Veterinary Clinic, and of course our dairy farmer friends who have helped us and then billy and who, billy who is a dairy farmer and also a uh, immunologist or uh, something sciencey like that and he helped us understand the immune system response in this situation so i really appreciate it and look at her she's trying to knock the hose off the i'm oh, sorry to interrupt carnation i'll show you what our cow's doing Thanks for joining us on the Tomarosa. We really appreciate you coming along and we love sharing our videos with you. Of course, we'll give you an update on how Buttercup is doing when we get to dry off and whether or not we feel like this diagnosis is really what it is and if the homeopathy worked. And also in the near future, we'll give you an update on how our once a day milking is going as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay, have a good one. Bye.